Okay, so let's talk about Asena O'Neill. I think I said it right. For those guys who don't know who Asena O'Neill is, do your damn homework. I'm just playing. Basically, it's this girl that's come out. She's got 500,000 um, Instagram followers, countless amounts of YouTube subscribers, I think about 200,000. And she made a video saying, I'm coming off social media. Now let's cue the sad music. The reason she's coming off social media is because she feels that social media is fake. You know, half the pictures that she posts, they're not, they're not a true representation of how she's feeling. She feels it's misleading to others because sometimes she spends two to three hours on, you know, just taking pictures and then hours of editing. What's meant to be quite a tranquil picture just isn't. Tranquility at its finest is staged. She was also saying that she takes pictures half naked and with her head turned away and she gets the most likes whenever there's something that focuses on her face she doesn't get as many likes so she feels like a piece of meat. Now I'm sure many of us, even myself, I can relate to this because although my life is how my life actually is and I tell you guys the truth about when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling happy but I try to give you positive vibes all the time. There are some people that lie on Instagram. They live the champagne lifestyle on orange Juice wages. They talk about Lamborghinis and Ferrari when they're driving golfs and fiestas. Now these people I can't stand, cannot stand them. But let me tell you something. She was lying. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying. To get this right, there's one picture. This picture right here. She said that she took two to three hours shooting this. You know, she had to get the right shot. There wasn't one that was depicting what she was doing and what she was feeling. So it took two to three hours to shoot, right? Okay. And then she also said that it took about an hour to edit. You know, all the editing software, it's so difficult to edit and edit stuff properly to put on the Instagram. But the person that took the picture, her dad also has a YouTube channel and he has exposed everything about this particular picture. The picture itself took nine seconds to take. The editing, as all of us, have iPhones. It doesn't take that long. You download Snapseed, you do whatever, and you can edit a picture on your phone. With 500,000 subscribers, she was getting paid. She was getting paid to wear necklaces, to wear dresses, to wear all kinds of stuff. The necklace that she's wearing in this picture, she got paid $600 for nine seconds of shooting and about a one minute of editing on your iPhone, you got paid $600 and you're telling me that your life is hard. So what does this scream to me? Publicity stunt. So she's crying this sob story saying that it's so hard for her to live her social media lifestyle. She's coming off of social media. She was on mainstream TV and what has that done? It's boosted her profile even more. She took her profile down for I think one day and then she was asking for donations through her website. Now this actually brings me through to my main point is that so many people sell themselves out because of Instagram, Facebook, YouTube or whatever and most people would do like literally anything to get views and to get likes on Instagram. You go to some people's pages, especially girls, half naked, boobs everywhere then they're wondering why people don't treat them the way that they should be treated. And because she was getting paid to do all these promotions, she was promoting stuff that she didn't even like. She was just wearing it for the sake of getting that money. Now this, for anyone that was wondering, is the true meaning of a sellout. Not people who take sponsorship deals, but people who take sponsorship deals with companies that they don't even like. Literally doing it because they're getting free products or um, money or whatever they're getting and they don't even like the damn company. Social media is the adult version of let's play pretend. And on a final note, Yesena, you did wrong. You did real wrong. You need to apologize to your people. Not everyone is like this on social media, but there are a lot of people that paint a picture that they want you to see. So don't get caught up in their games and ooh, who's that handsome, aesthetic young man? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a like, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Check out my last video, I'm sure you'll enjoy it with Matt Does Fitness. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.